Hi! So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a resin phone case. Making resin phone cases can be kind of difficult and easy to mess up if you don't really know what you're getting into, so hopefully this tutorial is helpful if you're just getting started. So just to start off, I'm going to show you a couple of the materials that you're going to need. Obviously you're going to need a phone case, like the one I'm showing here. Of course you can just pick whatever color you want, but the important thing is that it is a hard plastic case like the ones I'm showing here. The resin will adhere to any kind of plastic case like this, but if you try using a silicone case or something like that, then the resin is just going to come right off. So just make sure you have the right kind of case. It's pretty much up to you, whatever you want to put on the front. Um, you can put resin pieces, cabochons, polymer clay pieces, it doesn't really matter. I'll be using this Jirachi piece and some of these little word hearts, but really it can be as simple or as decorated as you want it to be. As long as it's secure enough to stay on the case, that's all that matters. You can also add any little embellishments you like, like bows, rhinestones, pearl cabochons, confetti, anything like that. Um, anything you want to decorate it with, it's up to you. This is the kind of resin I'll be using in this tutorial. For this tutorial, I'll be assuming that you already have a basic understanding of resin. If not, I'll still leave a resin tutorial in the description just in case. So the tools we'll be using are just basic resin tools. Um, you're going to need popsicle sticks and some toothpicks, and this is just to evenly distribute the resin across the phone case. So instead of just jumping right in and making your case, I highly suggest that you work out your design beforehand. This way you can ensure that everything you want to put on the case will fit on there properly. Also by doing this you can avoid panicking later when you have to add your pieces but you haven't really decided on a design yet. So just mess around and keep adding and taking away stuff until you come up with something that you really like. After you have your design all figured out, you're just going to glue the pieces onto the phone. Trust me, this is so much easier and so much better than adding them after the resin has already been placed onto the phone case. By doing this, you don't have to worry about your pieces moving around while you're adding the resin or while the resin's curing. You're also much, much more likely to overflow the resin off of the phone case if you add your pieces while you have the resin already on there. You're only relying on the surface tension in order to keep the resin on the case, so by adding a piece on top of that after the resin's already there, you're more likely to overspill. And after the glue is completely dried, you're ready to pour resin onto your case. I didn't leave much space between where the resin piece meets the edge of the phone case, so if you're worried that yours might overspill, I'd leave a bit more space than I did. And this is the other resin case I'm working on in this video. It says, You Can't Sit With Us, which is a Mean Girls reference. So I have all the colors that I'm going to use on these cases in these little cups pre-mixed. I want to say that you're going to need maybe a third of what's in one of these cups to make one case. I kind of overestimated. So to start off, you're just going to add very little to the inside of the resin case. You're not going to go too close to the edge, and you're just going to add it to the bigger empty patches. This is going to take some patience, but it's a lot easier to add too little and then have to add more later than it is to try and take away resin after it's already on there. Just take your time and be careful, and it'll definitely be worth avoiding an overspill. So for this case, the resin mixture I'm adding on top is just a mixture of glitter and resin without any pigments at all. This is one way of making the case, and in my opinion this is the best way if you want to make a really glittery case. The glitter and the resin is all going to sink to the bottom, and if you have pigments in the piece it's just going to cover up the glitter entirely. However, this way there's no pigments getting in the way and you can really see all the glitter. I'll be showing you an alternate way to add glitter on the Jirachi case later. So once you've filled most of the bigger empty spaces with a little bit of resin, you're just going to drag it to the edge with a toothpick. You're just going to want to do this very slowly and very very carefully so it doesn't overspill and you're going to want to be especially careful around the edges of the cabochons and especially if it's as close to the edges as mine are. So just very carefully make the resin meet all of the edges of the phone case. If you go a little bit over the edge like I do here, just make sure you wipe it up with your glove or with a paper towel because otherwise you're basically just making a path for the resin to overspill later. You're going to want to be especially careful when moving the resin around the camera hole area since it is so narrow and if it seeps down through the camera hole and overspills, it's going to be on the inside of the case. And resin getting on the inside of the case might prevent the case from fitting on the phone properly, so just be very, very careful to avoid that. Once you're all done covering your case, you're just going to use a straw to blow any bubbles that you got along the way. I added the resin to the second case pretty much the exact same way as I did to the first case, just adding it bit by bit and then moving it to the edge. However, for this case, I did use two different colored resins, and they do have pigments in them. Um, as you can see, they're not as glittery as the resin I used before. The pigments are still pretty translucent, so you can still see a bit of glitter, but I'll show you how to add even more later on. So again, I'm just moving all the resin to the edges very, very carefully, and making kind of a marbly effect with the two colors as I go along. So again, I'm going to blow out all the bubbles, and then I'm going to proceed to sprinkle a little bit of extra glitter on top. 
So I'm starting off with my finest glitters and then working into the chunkier glitters as I go. This is just some fine yellow glitter and I'm just sprinkling it in random patches to make it look super magical and pretty. I'm also adding a couple dashes of this circular glitter and then more of this star glitter on top. Um, again, I'm just doing this randomly in different patches across the phone case. So again, this is just an alternate way to add glitter to your phone case if you decide to use pigments. So next, while the resin is still wet, I'm just going to add a couple more embellishments. On this case, I'm adding these two heart rhinestones, and I'm just gently placing them with a pair of tweezers. You can wait until the resin's fully cured to do this. It's really whatever you prefer, whatever you feel more comfortable with. But I find that adding it while the resin is still wet means it's going to be more secure. I added a couple of rhinestones to the Jirachi case as well. And if you're going to add things like pearl cabochons and things like that, you can also do that at this time. But if you're adding things like bows, you should probably wait until the resin's fully cured because I'm not really sure how well adding a bow and resin would go. <laughs> and again, just get rid of any bubbles you might get. So you're done. And these are my cases after the resin had completely cured. As you can see, they're so, so pretty. I didn't end up adding any bows or anything to mine. I just left them as they were. So like I said, you can really be as creative as you want with this, and it's super versatile. If you're interested in seeing these cases in more detail, or seeing other cases I make in the future, I'll leave a link to my Instagram in the description, you can check them out there. So thank you so, so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Bye!